Okay, so staying in the spirit of candidate sourcing tips and tricks to piggyback off my LinkedIn article that you're reading here, let's go ahead and dive into a few things that you can do as soon as today for your recruiting agency, or if you're a corporate recruiter, you can start applying these tactics to attract and cultivate relationships with A player passive candidates, the ones that you really want to hire. And it goes through LinkedIn and heavy engagement in here and what I call brand formants, letting people know who you are, what your brand is, and becoming an authority figure within your niche. Okay, so let me show you a quick trick that I do on a daily basis within my sales navigator account, which costs me $99 a month. It's a must have. Go in here, do a quick search of whatever your keyword is for what you're looking for in recruiting. For this example, we'll just go ahead and do tax accountants. I had a cons consultation earlier with a potential member who is in the tax accountant field. So let's stay in, in there for now. And so just type in your, your uh, desired title right there, your geography. This needs to be a first degree connection for this particular strategy to work. So let's roll with that. But you can go in here and do more filtering. I'm just going to get through this video real quick. I only have one in my network because I'm not in this recruiting niche, but that's why my first degree connections are so low for this specific skill set. But here's what you do. Click on the person. Let's go into their... Uh, LinkedIn, free LinkedIn profile that you can look at. And you'll, you're will you going to simply just click on this bell right here. Okay. When you do that, it's as if you're subscribing to all their activity on LinkedIn. Why is this important? Anytime Elena makes a post, a video, anything she does on LinkedIn with content, you'll be notified right away. You can then go to Elena's page, review it, like it, and then comment and start building a relationship with Elena. It's a great way to stay on top of what your target candidates are doing, what they're thinking, what they're posting, start being their best friend. That's a great way to build a, a candidate pipeline. Okay, let's jump back into another really cool strategy um, that I've been using of late through Google. So if you go to, just go to Google, and here the idea is to download a PDF that could be of relevance to your candidate, something you can offer them. So in this example, we'll do tax accountant, Accountant, and let's do candidate and see what, what comes up here. So title colon PDF is the code that you want to use, right? If you want to call it a code. Uh, so we scroll down here, I'll look at some things. So this one I looked at earlier, finding and gaining acceptable work experience. This could be a good PDF to download and send to your candidates that you're networking with on LinkedIn, right? So let's, let's review it real quick. Um, let's go down. All this stuff here is going to help them do you know, tips on making your resume work for you. That's beneficial for anyone who's new in tax accounting. This might help them. But this is the idea, guys. You can go through a bunch of these PDFs on the search result back here and find one that you think would be beneficial that you could start sending out or DMing to your candidate network. Uh, just really quick tips here that have been helping me. I know they can help you as well.